Peter Obi is secretly working with the U.S. to truncate my free mandate. Tinubu cries out. The president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu yesterday raised the alarm over an alleged attempt by one Lloyd Okwa, a United States executive director of the National Democratic Coalition, NADICO, to falsely accuse him of rigging the February 25th, 2023 elections. In a statement by his special advisor on media communications, Dele Alake, the president-elect accused Lloyd of being a secret agent who has been engaged by the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, to disprove the mandates freely given to him by the Nigerian people. The statement reads, Our attention has been drawn to an attempt by Mr. Peter Obi to hire one Lloyd Ukwa, a United States-based Nigerian claiming to be the executive director of the National Democratic Coalition, NADICO, to organize a press conference specifically intended to disparage and cast aspirations on the credibility of the 2023 presidential election freely and fairly won by the president-elect, Asiwe Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. Tinubu further strikes that majority of Nigerians have spoken loud and clear that he was their choice to lead Nigeria from May 29, 2023, and there was nothing Lloyd and his like could do to change the fact of history. So guys, what's your take on this? The president-elect Bola Tinubu yesterday raised the alarm over an alleged attempt by one Lloyd Okra, a United States-based Nigerian who claimed to be the executive director of the National Democratic Coalition, NADICO, to falsely, to falsely accuse him of rigging the February 25th, 2023 election. In a statement by its media advisor on, on media communications, Dele Aladike, the president-elect accused Ukwa of being a secret agent who has been engaged by the president, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, to disprove the mandate freely given to him by the Nigerian people. The statement reads, Our attention has been drawn to an attempt by Peter Obi to hire one Lloyd, a United-based Nigerian claiming to be the executive director of the National Democratic Coalition, NADICO to organize a press conference specifically intended to dis disparage and cast aspirations on the credibility of the 2023 presidential election, freely and fairly warned by the president-elect, Asewa Ejubola Ahmed Tinubu. Tinubu further stressed that majority of Nigerians have, have spoken loud and clear that he was their choice to lead Nigeria from May 29, 2023, and there was nothing Lloyd Okwa and his likes could do to change this fact of history, Tinubu had said. Okay. Uh, it's only APC members see this election free and fair. Even the INEC chairman have said that the election was sabotaged. He said that, he said the ele election was sabotaged. The, one of the Buari aides, Femi Adeshina, also said that the election that brought the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is not perfect. According to him, he said there are so many irregularities and so many Nigerians are still speaking out, saying that the election is not perfect. Understand? If anybody should be blamed in this election, INEC should be blamed. APC should channel their energy on INEC. Why did those viewers stop working? That is the question every 
other Nigerians are asking. During the accreditation process, the, the beavers were all working well. But for them to upload the result to the annex server, the, the beavers automatically stop working. So if anybody is saying that the election is rigged, you don't need to blame the person. You understand? You don't need to blame the person because everything that happened, happened. Why under the watch of INEC, this election, before the election, INEC has been planning this election for about two years ago. Billions of Naira has been spent for this election. So what happened? What happened? That is what we should be asking ourselves. Not saying this person said the election was rigged. And even when you yourself know that the election, election is nothing to tell him about. This is the worst part of... Uh, in fact, I don't even know what to say. Because this election, this presidential election that took place on February 25th, 2023. Nigerians will not forget it in a hurry. Even the next generation to come, we still talk about this election. So, that is what man would have just done to himself. He would have allowed the election to flow. Nigerians were so happy when he said, with the use of beavers, everything will be smoothly. Transparent. And people came out in mass. They want to cast their vote because they want their voice to be heard. So what happened? Trying to shift blame on this person that said this. People were talking based on what happened on the election. This will not be say like this person is talking, you know, in the favor of this particular person. What about the irregularities everywhere? Are they even talking about, is it, about that one? Is the APC talking about those ones? Make we just stand for truth for once now. Maybe we just forget whatever and say the truth for once. It's so unfortunate. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.